A mecha crab? Wait, what? We can build a crab monster? That means I can have my own crab monster army? Dude! Hell yes! What's up everybody, I'm IGP and welcome back to Osiris New Dawn. Last episode, we finally got our barracks on our base. We found the only rubber tree on this godforsaken moon. And today, hopefully, we'll get the laboratory up and running. Now, I do apologize. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting a very long time for us to go to the other moon and check all of that out. But we haven't been able to do it because it's take it, this game takes... A long time it's a grinding game so be patient with me we're getting one step closer every episode i thank you guys so much for your support in this series if you are still enjoying it please leave a like let me know in the comment section below and let's get started okay so now that we have our barracks here i'm going to make or i'm going to i guess carry the resources that i need to make these outside things because apparently the chem station and the printer are all things that can help me on the go i should actually make an inflatable dome too let's go ahead and do that we'll prepare that out and then we'll go gather some more resources because i think the next structure i want to build is the biodome to which we need some more plastic for but i can actually if i'm not mistaken i might be able to synthesize this stuff at the portable chemistry thing and and i'm kind of really mad at myself that i've never used this before i don't know what's wrong with me we also leveled up i have to i have to do that real quick okay so yeah looks like uh each of these have been upped five times all right yeah one more for each sweet all right now we have a pl we have plenty of points we have four three and four let me look at the skill web again because i think there was something i wanted to unlock uh upgraded munitions there we go so two science but let me check the science since we have a lot here computer technology unlocks the ability to build computer desk furniture pieces and decrypt cryptex in more advanced structures okay uh, i can make batteries uh toxicology unlocks the ability to craft poisons or remedies pheromone expertise unlocks the ability to craft repellents or baits oh I wonder if I could use baits to get people to run into the turrets. Or creatures, rather. Not people. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing that. Mechanized monsters. Unlocks ability to craft satellites and use them to gather and send data. Mechanized monsters? Hold on a second. I gotta look this up. All right, I couldn't find anything on it, so I don't think I'm gonna waste that just yet. Oh, this is hard. Satellite communication. This allows the player to create any known satellites and use them to gather and send data. So what's the difference here between the monster, what is it, or mechanized monsters? Ability to craft satellites. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost tempted to unlock some of this stuff just to see what it is. Actually, I should do this, shouldn't I? Actually, yeah, that's what I'm going for. I forgot about, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I have to make vehicles. That was the point. So, okay, we're going to, we have two science points left. We could, since science isn't too hard to come by now, I think I might unlock something over here if I can. Oh, no, wait, I could use it for upgrading munitions. Let's do it, dude. And then, uh, am I up with melee? Oh, I'm at the highest melee point. Okay, never mind. I don't think I want any other combat, to be honest. I'm just going to save it because... I'm probably not going to be using heavy or light weapons right now. At least until I can reliably craft them. Anyway, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. All this extra crap I have laying around in my thing. I have a lot of resources too. Uh, berries can go in here, the meat, and we'll sort that. And then I think probably another storage locker for the iron and stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and gather all the ore over here, and then we can deconstruct this depository. Backpack slots of it. No backpack slots available. Never mind. I can't carry anything. Great. All right. So here's an inflatable dome kit. I'm going to need one of those and then a bunch of steel. Oh, God damn it. I need more aluminum. I'll be back. I'm going to make another dragon tooth, and then I'm going to fill up with steel so we can make a current locker and then move everything over. And then we'll go out to the hydrogen deposits okay so i'm trying to see the, the storage locker or the crates which one has more room so there's nine by four that's 36 slots for one two three four five okay so the storage locker has way more so i'm going to use that okay so let's sort this out real quick put all of the ore and everything that we don't necessarily need on us right now glass is a building material just everything in there steel too that's fine. And then over here, I'll put back the rubber. Let's go gather everything so we can get rid of these depositories and clean up this outside a little bit. I need someone to come by and destroy this, please. Or maybe I could just bring it with me and set it down so someone can destroy it. Take all. Let's go. 
Okay, so I don't have enough room for a lot of this, so I'm just going to keep it like this, I guess. Ooh, I don't need my assault rifle. The inflatable dome kit, yes. Uh, dragon tooth, makeshift bandage. I'm going to need steel. Let me see what else I'm going to need for these utilities. Uh, five steel. So I have enough to make both steel-wise. I just need the glass. I don't know if I need all of that, but that's enough. Uh, aluminum ingots and rubber. So I only need five aluminum ingots, so I'm going to definitely split that. That's a lot of, uh... That's a lot of unnecessary stuff. So I need 13 glass. And then rubber, I only need three. I'll just carry seven with me. Not a big deal. There we go. Now I have enough to do it. Hoping that these things make plastic, right? I'm hoping that's... I'm going... I need my carbon. So it's one carbon per plastic. So I should just bring the whole heap of carbon, shouldn't I? Actually, I don't need all of these, right? All I need is like one, technically, if I can make it there. I hope I can make it there, dude. If I can't make it, I'm screwed. Okay, now I think I'm ready to go out. Actually, I need to eat something. Where are these ferns? These ferns are amazing, dude. They're found everywhere and it's plus seven nutrition. That's nuts. Okay, so... What I'm going to do, the portable chem station is the chemistry table, basically. So I can actually make water, too, which would be super helpful. I'm thinking that maybe I can uh, locate first the hydrogen, or the, I'm sorry, the oxygen, and then go over to the hydrogen, and then make the stuff. Maybe. Because I all I need is one can of oxygen, and then two cans of hydrogen. And I should be able to make, uh, fill up all my containers with water. Anyway, I need to stop talking, and we need to start... Moving forward, uh, what do I need? Oh, I need to find where the oxygen is. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so negative 7 latitude, negative 22.6. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, okay, so let's pull this out. And let's see. So we need to go southwest a little bit until we get to negative 22.6. Conveniently enough, we can get some damn tree sap. Now, what I'm curious about is, I wonder, I freaking wonder if it is possible to gather sap from other trees. I know that's a weird, weird premise, but, you know, this is definitely a tree. I might be able to gather something from this, right? Please? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Instead, I will get red berries from you, which I know is going to make all the enemies come out now. And we'll make some bandages, and then we'll gather the, the sap as well. Just to prepare for the journey, right? Where are you at? I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Oh, I see you. I see you. Come on. Come on. I'll bet you if you run up to me, you can't even hit me. Let's go, dude. Come on. <laughs> wow. Dude, that was an insane critical hit right there. He's gone. The music didn't even get to stop playing. Oh, that's because you're there. Oh my gosh. These things are way easier to destroy than I remember. You basically just wait till they're on you and you hit them. All right, let's get some sap. Oh, and I can take these ferns, too, for food. It's a good idea. Get five of them. That's ridiculous. All right, we got all of our stuff. We are good to go. Let's go. Got to find this oxygen on this planet, right? Southwest. So negative. It should be right over here somewhere. At least, I think. I hear creatures of all kinds just babbling about to each other. Oh, I'm dying of dehydration. Let's drink up some sap. Oh, thank you. Now where? Aha! Here we go. We both- Yeah, we got ourselves some oxygen. Yeah, so what I should be doing is filling up- Yeah, so I just need one container of this, right? To make four glasses, because that's all the glass I have anyway on me. So I'll go ahead and fill this one up. Wait, this is nitrogen. What? Oh, oxygen's over here. Shit. Empty out. Okay. This is oxygen. There's oxygen and nitrogen here. That's nice. Okay. Hello. Are you going to piss off? All right, so we got our O. Ooh, hello. Now we just need to get uh, to hydrogen somewhere. What is closest to me? Nothing. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm very far away from uh, nitrogen. So I need to go basically back this way. I need to go northwest for a while. Great. And it's getting nighttime. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back out to the menu. I, I don't have time to sleep or waste any other time. It's already nighttime again. I've only gotten this far. Jesus. All right. Let's go again. Well, since we're over here, I'm going to go ahead and refill on sap because I'm dying, clearly. Hello? <sighs> this is the worst part, man. Get 
You have to get up to the point of having a vehicle. Great. And since you don't have a vehicle, it takes forever to travel anywhere. All right. We are here. I think I'm going to save again because it's about to be night. Well, not save, but leave. Come back and we'll build the stuff. I'll set up the inflatable dome. We'll have our resources right there. And I'll use as much as possible because I have 50 carbon, I think. I should have brought all of it now that I think about it. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I guess because of my weight. Oh, and we got sap and stuff. Oh, this is great. I didn't even, I forgot that this was over here. Okay, and we got tons of aluminum. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and build up the inflatable dam. And can we build it at full capacity? Yes, okay, because it looked like the blue bar in there wasn't, uh, wasn't all the way up. Okay, so let's go in here and save. Sweet. Okay, so now we can build our utilities. All right, I think I might have lost my aluminum ingots. <laughs> I think I might be stupid. There we go. And... Oh, no! I completely forgot about the power. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Great. So now I'm going to have to make an oven. And I'm basically going to have to start from scratch. This is beautiful. All right, going to have to build this here and then start making the ingots. This is actually not that hard. It really isn't. It doesn't take too long to do this. Okay, and then I need to make a primitive workbench. So four rocks. Or I can make a forge, right? I could just straight up make a forge. Yeah, I have to have the forge in order to make the solar panel. So I just need some plutonium. Good freaking luck finding plutonium here. Ah, yes, finally. Oh, I had to restart the game over and over again to have this stuff respawn so I can get some plutonium. Yes, I don't know how many, how many do I need for this? Uh, forge. That is only four ingots. I don't even know if I have enough, to be honest. I do. Oh my god. Exactly enough. Holy crap. Let's make this forge, dude. There we go. Sweet. All right. I know all this stuff is being built here randomly, but you know what? I got to make me some plastic. As much plastic as I possibly can. I might leave all this stuff here. It would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Okay, so I need a solar panel kit, which is going to be a carbon ingot. I can make one, thankfully. And now... I have a solar panel kit. Woo! And we shall set that right here. Sweet. Now we have a powered uh, chem station. Now we can go ahead and make some water too. There we go. Okay. So let's go over here and we'll make water first and then we'll start making the... Uh... <laughs> oh, yes! Fluorescence. Liquid crafting more advanced items. I don't think I need that. You can make a lot of stuff here. All right. Let's make this water. Ah, finally water. One per count. Uh, wait, what? Let's make some plastic. Let's do it. Yay! Tons of plastic. Yeah, so I think it would make more sense to have all these stations just set out here. So when I come back to get hydrogen, you know, I can... Uh, it's all here for me to make a bunch of plastic at once. See, basically, I could make as many as I want. I just have to go back to the other mine to get the carbon. Which I don't remember being too far away. It would be nice to kind of, like, do that back and forth. And just get a whole bunch of carbon and make as much plastic as possible. That way I have a ton of plastic and a ton of rubber. All right, let's try to see how much this water replenishes. So, over 75... Wow. Wow, there is basically no point in me doing that. There is basically no point in me making water. That is really stupid. <laughs> Jeez. Leveling up like crazy doing all this too. It's kind of nice. And that's it. That's all the carbon I have right now. So I got a ton of plastic. Quite a bit of plastic. I'm going to go ahead and drop these rocks. I have way too much uh, stuff on me right now. But I'm thinking maybe I should... F Where's the carbon at? Where is the carbon? Okay, so the carbon is actually very far away. That, uh, that specific thing. So <sighs> this is hard, dude. I don't know what I should do. So I have enough plastic. I know... Okay, I could definitely make this. I know I have enough plastic. So just 10, 2, and no plastic for this. I just need gold and lithium. I do have the five diamonds. I need to make the circuit boards, the wires, and that should be golden. No joke. So I guess we will head back to the other place for now. Uh, we're going to leave this open. And I'm certainly not ever making water again. That is so stupid. Not making water ever again. All right. So we are back home. And let me go ahead. What am I going to do here? Uh, structures. We have to build... We should build the biodome, but I'm thinking, honestly, I should just do the lab, like, right away. 
So I have to make 10 wires and three circuit boards. And then we got to look for our ingots. I think, I don't think I have 20 gold ingots. I might though, because we there's a bunch of gold out here. It's not actually that hard to find. Let's see. No, we don't have that much, but we're pretty damn close. Five lithium. I think we definitely have that. Yeah. And we definitely have the diamond. Uh, so we just need circuit boards and wires, which we can make at the fabricator here. The wire is going to be rubber, copper, and gold. Okay, so... Oh, crap. I have to use up some of that gold. All right, so we got to go gold hunting eventually. Uh, but let me see. Structures. We need 10 wires. So let's go ahead and grab this gold and copper... And we'll make our quick... I gotta, I gotta get more rubber. Hold on. There we go. All right, let's make 10 of these. Perfect. Nice. And we got uh, an upgrade. Okay, and then for circuit boards, we need two... Li oh, they're gonna use up all my lithium. Dang it. I don't have... Actually, I have way more than I need, I think. So one. Let me make sure. Two, three. Okay, so I'm out of gold. <laughs> I am out of gold. I think I have enough to make steel, right? have enough in my inventory yeah okay so we have to have a bunch i think 30 total bam so we got that perfect uh, i actually had way more than i needed so now we just need the gold and diamond so let's go put all this stuff away and uh we're gonna have to go gold hunting all right let's get some gold uh, i think the iron is this way there's a lot of gold actually right down here if i'm not mistaken there we go got some gold more gold sweet yeah, they're like, it's, it's, they're all sitting like right here. That's so nice. More gold. Sweet. We got a ton. This ain't gonna be no thing. Okay. I think that's enough. We have a, yeah, we got 50 and 12. That's more than enough. And my backpack is so full right now. I can't walk. All right. We did it. We can build the freaking lab. Now, can this, does it have to attach to anything? Nope. It doesn't look like it has to. Just straight out here. Now, actually, I'm not going to build it over here. I'm probably going to build it back here away from this because the biodome is probably going to need to be connected to that. But this looks good. Just right here. Totally fine with it. Oh, that was, uh, that was, this was a long episode. I don't even think I want to tell you guys how long I've been playing to get this done. It's an absolute mind fuck. And I forgot I can't even do it because, oh, I'm going to need walls. All right, so we need steel. Aluminum and copper, which I have a lot of, so that's fine. Ah, uh, yes, we can enter in through here. Sweet. Ah, uh, I'm so glad I have this right now. Uh, how much is it? 10 steel for a wall? Dude, that is nuts. Oh my god. I have to go get more iron now. That's ridiculous. I thought, I thought it was only like one or two. Damn, I'm gonna have to make some more steel. Holy crap. All right, this should be enough steel, I'm hoping. We got one wall. I think there's five more. Yeah. Oh, we got two walls, actually. There's one, two, three, four more walls. Okay. So it should be enough. Yes, just over. Thank God. Ah, I need one more aluminum. Really I need a, a lot more aluminum. Holy crap. Hold on. All right. This is all the aluminum I have right now. Oh, <sighs> this is, uh, this is beginning to get very difficult. The resources on this planet are just so scarce, dude. Well, not, I mean, relative to what I need, which makes sense because I'm building a giant laboratory. There we go. We are golden, right? Do I have to build any, is this it? Hello? Build vehicle. Oh, finally. So we can build the hover bike or the gav, I think has more storage on it or the rover. Lots of storage. So we need tons of diamond. What is this? Oh, the... Yeah, we can't build that yet. The mech. And the spaceship we can't build. Well, we could build a spaceship, but we don't have the tech to do it. Oh! I could build a droid! No shit. Are you kidding me? A well, mecha crab. Wait, what? We can build a crab monster? That means I can have my own crab monster army? Hell yes! Dude! Now, I have all this stuff, but I think I'll wait on that. So I'm going to need to make a, a hover bike is not what I need. I need something that's going to carry a bunch, like the rover. So I'm going to need a ton of lithium, a ton of diamonds, and that's actually not that bad. Raw materials, too, if, if you didn't notice. This is all raw materials. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to save that for the next episode, I guess. But we finally did it. We got our nice little lab up here. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see. Tips and suggestions are always appreciated. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.